And what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the vlog. Today, we're gonna go on a little adventure to downtown Nashville. We've been hearing, Nancy's been tagged on Facebook, I think she's tagged me on Facebook, with there's, there's rumors of the best donut in Nashville. Now, it comes with a twist, of course, as it should. These donuts are perfectly paired with beer. They do donut and beer flights there, which is uh, kind of what we're gonna be going down for. It's called the Donut and Dog. They also serve hot dogs and other little bar foods and snacks and stuff like that. I've never been there. Nancy's never been there. We're gonna be going head down there. I'm interested not only to see what beers pair well with a donut, because to me that sounds like a an interesting, odd, but delicious combination of flavors, as well as... It says the donut and dog named the best both locally and nationally. Statements from our guests, best I've had in my whole life. Why hasn't someone done this before? Wow. So we are totally interested in this. Uh, we, we've seen it, talked about online. So we're gonna go get involved. So we had just gone through our very first tropical storm here. It actually pretty much missed us. It was the remnants of Hurricane Laura. We didn't really deal with much. I think we got about an inch and a half of rain and some wind gusts up to 30 miles an hour, but where they thought it was gonna curve and head right towards us, so we were under tornado warnings and storm warnings and flash flood warnings and all this stuff, it kinda just went straight up. Yeah. Come stand out here for a second. No, it's terrifying. I don't like it. Just feel that, that fucking gust coming through. Holy crap! Hi, sweetie! Hey! Alright, so, uh, Tropical Storm Laura is now, is now in full effect here. It came right about on time, too. It is coming down. Little gust, but the wind is coming through. I think we're supposed to be expecting about 30 mile an hour winds and stuff. Uh, which so far is so good. Look That's at this. Crazy. Look at how wild that is. But that was the first time that we've ever gone through a tropical storm warning before. It So we just got here to uh, Donut and Dog, I'm guessing is how you call it. Uh, we are starving, ready for food. But check this place out. It's got a little patio on the front. It's a converted house that they turned into a restaurant. Let's go grub.
miserably full. He had to finish all of our foods, he says. I sure did. They couldn't do it all. Okay, so there was music happening all over. We just weren't able to use any of the, the footage there. We subtitled a few things and uh, I ended up going with the Nashville hot chicken there at uh, Donut and Dog, uh, which was a Nashville hot chicken piece, had a chipotle mayo, I think. Yeah. Uh, had a little oh, slaw yeah. on there. Uh, like a pickle. And it was in between a double bun. Uh, that was, the buns were donuts. donuts. Oh. It was. So literally the definitely the star of the show. Yeah. Now I'm gonna have to say Which he said too, he's like that's he pointed to a picture and he was like, That's what you want to order, at least one of you. You have to get that, yeah, exactly. So I'm gonna have to say that it wasn't super hot. It was like an enjoyable Nashville hot chicken flavor, but it didn't come and kick you in the ass, didn't which was face off. which was really good. Nancy went with a it was like the Na Nami or something like it was, that. Like I couldn't pronounce it. It was Ba. Tommy, like, but he said it was like a Vietnamese style. It had a chipotle aioli. Um, it had uh, pickled carrots. It had slices of cucumber, and it had jalapenos on a Hawaiian roll hot dog bun. And it was like on the outside, it was toasted. It was. It was so good. Delightful. I ate that. James went with the breakfast burger, which is a double patty burger, uh, fried egg, bacon. In between two donuts. You'll see him take a bite of it. Oh. That, the, the, that juice. Whew. I am so full. Um, yeah, so it, like they use donuts as their bun. And then we got uh, some side donuts. One was like a chocolatey oh. churro donut. Yeah. One was the uh, Southern Bell the Southern donut. Southern Bell and it had peaches in it. It had straight up peaches so, like, inside. So you dipped into it and it was like a peach kind of thick puree. I wasn't expecting that when I bit into it, and then no. I was like, oh my god, and it paired with the pineapple cider. Yes. Which he didn't like, because he doesn't like pineapple. I'm not a big pineapple guy, so the really pineapple nice cider didn't work for me. Uh, the chocolate on the donut was so, like, cocoa. It was like real good chocolate. Very. Um, and it paired with a porter. It was so good. So so Everything. Good. I never thought that I would say that I've paired beer and donuts together, and now I'm like obsessed. But now it's delicious, and we can't wait for people to come visit so we can take people down there. We can enjoy some but more. It's cool. So they but have everything's four beers. yeah, and everything's rotating. Yeah. Between the donuts are rotating, the beers are rotating. Whatever they have in, every time you go in, it may be something different. Just that really was cool. that was such a good good experience. So that storm rolled through last night and I went out there this morning and uh, went to go kind of clean up the pool area and I found a frog below my pool filter and I now have to kind of fish out and I'm not excited about that at all. Ah, and he's alive. Is he alive? Yeah. That's good thing. Wow, that just scared the fuck out of me. I did not expect to see him jump. <laughs> Are we gonna rescue him? <sighs> he didn't move when I saw him this morning. Oh my god, he just scared the sh Oh yeah, he's just hanging down there. I did not expect him to fucking move. He was so still. Look at him, we're rescuing a baby frog. Oh, there he is. Got the pool cleaned up a little bit. Now, we are still still working on the pool. Hi. I, it looks a world better than it did when we first got here a month ago. It's actually blue. You can see inside of it, so that's a, that's a positive. You can swim in it. It's very swimmable. All the levels are fine. We have consistently had just a bunch of leaves. We got so many trees and stuff that just blows leaves around, but we got leaves at the bottom of the pool. I got a little robot that's gonna go ahead and... Uh, like a pool robot. Yeah, that's gonna take care of the, the floor and stuff like that. That's probably gonna be the next video that you guys are gonna see. I'm gonna do a whole review on this robot. Had great reviews on Amazon. Everyone online said that it was pretty good. It was an investment, so... Uh, I mean, it better be as good as people say that, that it is. But it's supposed to, You can only hope. Yeah, it's supposed to get uh, leaves and debris and uh, kind of... I mean, of, if anything helps you out, because you've been putting in work. I've been doing a lot of work out here. Almost every single day I'm out here doing something with this pool. So if I can get like a little a little robotic friend to help help out around here, that'd be, uh, that'd be perfect. We're going to go ahead and wrap this one up. 
we will show you guys cleaning up the pool and doing a little bit of weeding on the, the next one. It's mainly gonna be a whole review. I mean, I'm gonna break it down. I'm gonna tell you guys what it says that it does and then we're gonna we're gonna take a little little journey with this this pool thing. I mean, like it's an $800, $700 pool thing. That's, that's a hell of an investment. Uh, thanks to the family for helping us out and get that one. So, alrighty. Well, see you later. That's it. I guess we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. This is our life.